Aloha, this is Colin Sato with Acura of Honolulu. In a surprise move, Acura shared full details on the upcoming 2022 MDX. Their full video is about 20 minutes long, but I will try to summarize what they've shared in a slightly more concise video. The new MDX features aggressive styling and a tightly integrated signature Acura grille. There are new four element jewel eye LED headlights and LED daytime running lights. The center of the MDX body features a slight Coke bottle effect that also emphasizes the 1.4 inch wider track. The new MDX is slightly larger than the previous generation overall length and width are up by about two inches each. The all new chassis features a double wishbone front suspension, a first for an MDX in its 20 year history. This is something we used to see in all Acuras and it's nice to see it finding its way back into our cars with the new TLX and MDX. A double wishbone suspension improves handling without sacrificing ride quality. This type of suspension design helps maintain a more constant tire contact patch throughout the full range of wheel movement. When we move inside, this could be the best equipped Acura ever. Even base models are standard with authentic materials such as brushed aluminum. The standard front seats include 12-way adjustments and three-position memory for the driver's seat. In the second row, the MDX has a first-in-class multifunction removable center seat. This allows you to have traditional seven-passenger seating or captain's chairs with a center console or a walkthrough if you remove the center section. Both cargo and passenger space have been increased everywhere and the standard panoramic moonroof helps provide a light, airy feeling for all occupants. The new MDX brings more elements from the precision cockpit concept from several years ago into production. It includes an all-digital instrument panel with no physical gauges. This allows the driver to select what information they need. The MDX also improves the responsiveness of the true touchpad interface and has a larger 12.3 inch high definition upper display. For the first time, we also have wireless Apple CarPlay or Android Auto along with standard key wireless charging. The premium audio system in the MDX includes a nine speaker, seven channel system with 350 watts of power and there are different audio systems available as you move up the MDX lineup. The new MDX is also advancing safety. Of course, Acura Watch is standard, but it now features a new driver attention monitor, traffic jam assist, traffic sign recognition, and improved pedestrian detection. On technology package models or higher, the MDX adds low speed braking control. This uses the sonar based parking sensors to warn the driver or apply the brakes to help avoid or mitigate a low speed collision. As with the new TLX, the MDX will feature Acura's next generation front passenger airbag. This three chamber design more effectively cradles and protects the front passenger to limit potential injuries. Under the hood, the MDX continues with our 3.5 liter IVTEC V6, but instead of the previous generation 9 speed automatic, it now has the Acura Design 10 speed. The base MDX and technology package models are available in front wheel drive or our fourth generation super handling all wheel drive. A spec and advanced models are only available with super handling all wheel drive. The new MDX starts at 47,925 and the technology package is 52,625, both including destination charge. As always, super handling all wheel drive is a $2,000 option. A spec and advanced models are 58,125 and 61,675, respectively. Well, there you have it what we know so far on the new MDX. The official launch date is February 2nd, 2021, and I am optimistic we will have at least a couple of cars available on that day. If you have inquired, I will do my best to keep you updated as we learn more. But if you have any questions, please post them in the comments below or send an email to this address. Thank you once again for watching this short introduction video. Mahalo.